the citizens of United States of America like to consider themselves one of the freest countries in the world. However, the truth is actually a lot more complicated than that. The United States enjoy some of the most lax law in the world when it comes to saying whatever you please but that doesn't necessarily equate to being free to do what you want to do. In many countries around the world, it is perfectly legal to do many things people wish they could do in the states. Hello people, welcome to your virtual world, Irv I. Magic mushroom are the common given name for class of mushroom that have an active compound called psilocubic that can have very strong psycholytic effect when ingested. Of course, most people who find this mushroom intergoing will need to accept that it is beyond their reach as it remains in the reclaim of the black market of illegal drugs. That is unless they were willing to live in the right very specific country. In the European countries, mushrooms are actually mostly decriminalized, making it fairly use them and get your hands on them. While it is not legal to sell mushroom, import them into the country or buy them. It is perfectly okay to small amount and grow them yourself. Law was likely set up in this way so that their citizen could have their own freedom without too strongly encouraging tourists to come there in the country and just get a chance on the drug trip. Also in the country of Brazil, it's mostly legal, but only because of technicality and the fact that no law has yet written on the corrected, this is mainly because it isn't really a problem there in the first place. In the mainland China, people often allow their young children to pee in the public. China is known for being overpopulated despite having had a one-child policy for a long time. Their major cities are also specially known for being overcrowded and as such they have to deal with certain cultural situation in different way. Not long ago a Chinese couple from a midland caused a stir because they were visiting Hong Kong and allowed their small boy to pee in a diaper in a public space. This was quite controversial to do in Hong Kong, but in mainland China, their action would have been perfectly normal. Parents in the mainland China often allow their children to pee in public if they were having trouble finding anywhere else for them to go in time. This is likely cropped up over time as a solution to the overcrowding issue. Of course, some people may find the very idea repulsive, but those parents who do so claim that their child would have gone to any way and usually find corner as out of the way as possible. In North Korea, it is both legal and commonplace to smoke weed. North Korea is known for being strict and fascist dictatorship that rules everyone inside with an iron fist. Most areas of country are extremely poor and hardly anyone enjoys anything that can be called a quality of life. Even those who tow the party line and get to live in the major cities don't exactly live in the lap of luxury. However, on one particular front, the North Koreans tend to be incredibly lax, that they totally okay with the growing and smoking of weed and make regular use of the drug. In Japan, it is considered strange if you do not slurry your noodles loudly and proudly. There are some particular culture tradition out there that happens to be completely the opposite in another part of the world and this is one of them. In the United States and the most western countries making lots of noise while eating is generally frowned upon. Even while eating food like noodles, we have come up with many different techniques to eat our food as noisy less as possible. However, in Japan, eating noodles is completely different experience. In Japan, they believe that the noodles should be eaten when they are still piping hot in the order to fully enjoy them. And to eat them piping hot, essential requires for the mouth movements and that creates a distinctive slurping sound. No one in Japan minds because 
it is simply considered a sound that necessary to order a properly eat noodles in fact if japanese person does not hear you slurping they may make a mistake of thinking that you do not like your food in the uk and much of europe it is legal to jaywalk as much as you wish in the united states nearly everyone has a car and the roads have become very serious business indeed places like new york are the exception instead of the rules and even in places like a decent public transportation infrastructure most people still find it is more convenient to have their own method of transportation this means we often have very congested roads full of very peeved drivers and have thus made very rigid rules on where and when pedestrians should cross the street in order to ensure public safety there is also legal element involved and it helps deal with liability in the country with lot of lawsuits if there are well laid out place and ways that people are supposed to safety cross the street however in the united kingdom where they are little less so happy and have a lots of less cars on the road the rules are much different some visitors from across the pond have even found themselves arrested in united states because they cross the roads randomly in a very busy place without using a proper crosswalk while it's not always enforced jaywalking in against the law of united states but there are no law against it all in the united kingdom instead the most european countries people are simply expected to cross responsibly wherever and whenever it is safest in new zealand prostitution is fully legal and regulated in many countries in europe sex trafficking is a problem and some countries believe the solution in this to clamp down hard on the legality of the prostitution most of them are targeting those who buy the service of the prostitute instead of the prostitute themselves as they may be a victim of trafficking but in new zealand has long felt that this is a wrong approach to dealing with the situation they feel that in order to deal with sex trafficking you need to remove the veil of secrecy from the business and regulate and keep an eye on it likely any business in the spain people take a several hours of nap in the middle of the work day many people may have already heard of the spanish siesta the habit of snapyard knocking off of the 3 hours during the hottest part of the afternoon and enjoying a nice relaxing snooze the habit developed over time because the area was mostly used for farming and it made a lot of sense to take a break when the sun was on highest in the sky today it is more an inconvenience for a people of spain what with the face industrialized world that the most people now live in shop will close at 2 pm and the people will often come back and reopen their shop around 5 or 6 pm and stay open until late night while it may sound relaxing to knock off of 3 hours of middle of the day it is hardly good for you to segment your work day up that way and end up constantly working late into the night and the people of spain are well aware of it this it is hardly realistic in the modern stage to use time for a nap and the most people actually take the time to get things done instead unfortunately they still have to report to the work on the same time every morning this has led to a culture where most people in spain stay up late get up early rarely nap and don't get much sleep overall while siesta has given them a reputation of laziness they are actually a hard working sleeping deprived country that is increasingly considering removing the siesta completely and just shortening the work day a reasonable amount of time to begin with in japan you can buy poisonous fuzu fish most people have heard of the poisoner puffer fish known as fuzu which is delicacy in the country of japan in the united states and other countries around the world if you want to taste fuzu you will have to pay a large amount of money to eat fish 
that was specially prepared by a Japanese chef and imported frozen to your part of the globe. This is because Japan is the only country in the world that legalized allowing people to prepare the fresh fuzu for serving and they have extremely strengthened requirement in order to earn that legal rights. The fish has poison known as tetradoxin that is extremely poisonous causing paralysis in a very short time in human with only a small amount of required to be deadly. Certain part of the fish are not poisonous and are actually quite delicious and it is these that the highly trained chef carefully separate them and enjoyable or dangerous part of the fish that takes three years of training and only about a third of those who take a licensing exam even pass the test. These are standard and show that those who buy a fuzu in a restaurant will not truly be clamping with their lives. Although it is said that the truly skilled chef leaves just enough poison to make your lip tingle and remind you of the danger without actually putting into your harm anyway. In Russia, it is perfectly acceptable to leave your young children home alone. In the United States, there are laws about how a young child can be and still legally left home completely alone by their parents and in today's United States, most parents couldn't imagine their child walking to or from school alone. If a child too young were left to be left alone in the United States, the authorities found out and could lead to visit by Child Protective Service. However, in the Federation of Russia, they do not look at the issue in the same way at all. In Russia, it is far more commonplace for children to leave the house on their own at a young age either to go to school or simply go to a store or it is legal to leave your child home alone. Some parents in certain parts of Russia have lopped in the past mock stickers law regarding the matter especially due to cause where children have been left home alone and got hurt. But ministers in charge of lawmaking seems reluctant to push the issue. They feel the Punishing parents for leaving young children home alone is more of a western thing and aren't sure if there is a route to way to go. While it could be someday change, it seems for the moment the Russians aren't interested in worrying too much about that matter. In Estonia, they vote for public office holder online. The United States like to consider themselves one of the most technology advanced nations in the world but despite for making many advances, voting online and doing many other government related actions online is still a thing of fantasy. In that particular regards, we are being beaten rather badly by a small country in Europe called Estonia. They are known for being incredibly digital connected, possibly the most connected in the entire world. They have made training in the understanding of computers and internet to core a part of school curriculum and almost all important business can be done online.